Hello all, hope you all are doing fine and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to calculate tax rate by making use of VLOOKUP function. Now, this is the table that I have uh, taken from the Income Tax Department of Government of India. This is the tax rate of individuals where, are, where they have different snap rates. Now, if in case I make use of this table, I will not get the proper output because this is in this cell you can observe this is a combination of text and number so which is not recognized in text so the same table i have recreated towards my right hand side i have given i have taken the minimum value uh, over here and the maximum value in column e so in the first case it says up to 250000 which means my minimum income or minimum value is zero and the maximum value is 250000 and in the last cell, they are telling if in case your income is about 10 lakhs, then the tax rate is going to be 30 percent. So here, I have taken as 10 lakhs by this cell, uh, I am leaving it as black. Because uh, whatever amount that you enter about 10 lakhs, automatically you should get the rate of tax as 30 percent. Now, this is the cell where you need to enter the income. And this is the tax rate uh, wherein we are making use of formula now. So, start out with equal sign, just type as zero V lookup, just enter tab key. Now, my lookup value is nothing but what value you are going to look for. In this case, it is income. So, select the column B9, comma. Table array is nothing but the table where exactly you have the actual data. In this case, this is the actual data. You can select the data along with the column heading. There is no showing that, comma. So next it is telling column index number. Now that in this data whatever I have selected, this is my first column, this is my second column and this is my third column. I want my rate of income tax which is there in third column. So leave it as number 3. Comma. Then it is asking for a range lookup which is approximate match and exact match. Now approximate match in the sense in this case, suppose if in case uh, I give the income as 249,000, then the rate of income must double it as 0. Approximate match in the sense, even the number or the income what you are giving, if it is not there in the table also, it will give you the value. Exact value of the sense, suppose if in case 249,000, in this table 249,000 is not there. So, Excel will give you an error. If in case you enter 11 lakhs, then 11 for that also will get an error because this is not included in this particular table. So now we will go with this approximate match and then press N. So it is showing that 0% because this particular cell is gone. Now I will give the income as 2 lakh 49,000 and then press enter. You can see it is there as 0% because for that particular uh, income, the, slab, uh, the rate of income tax is 0. Uh, I'll give it as my uh, income as 3 lakh 1000. Now you can see that the rain tax rate is showing it as 5% because 3 lakh 50,000 falls between this range and the rate is 5 lakhs. Now the last range is 10 lakhs, so let's see what happens if I give 11 lakh. And then press enter automatically to show it as 10 lakhs. This is how we calculate the tax rate by making use of the local function. But there is a thing to be noted. What happens if you give 250,000 as your uh, um, income? I'll give it as 250,000 and then press enter. It is showing it as 5%, which is wrong as per income tax rules. If in case your income is exactly 250,000, then as per uh, IT rules, your income tax is Z. But Excel is showing the value as 5% because Excel is uh, exactly looking for where exactly 2 lakh 50,000 is. In order to correct this, so here instead of 2 lakh 50,000, make it as 2 lakh 50,000 and 1. So here make it as uh, 5 lakh and 1, and here make it as 10 lakhs and 1 in order to correct this. So now if in case my uh, Income is 5 lakh, then I need to get it as 5%. So, they are made changes. So, just start it as 5 lakh and then press enter and then it will as 5%. So, thank you for watching my video. Please do subscribe to my channel for more updates.